If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. NC TV 45 Newcastle, the train. Hello and welcome to NC TV 45 News Watch. I'm Nadine Buckley here to tell you about the DCNR hosting the first day hikes at Pennsylvania State Parks on New Year's Day. To promote a healthy start to the new year, the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources officials will be joining hikers at several parks across the state as DCNR again sponsors free guided hikes in 29 state parks on New Year's Day as part of America's State Parks First Day Hikes Initiative in all 50 states. The following Pennsylvania State Park facilities are, particip are participating during daylight hours on January 1st. Bald Eagle, Beltsville, Black Mashannon, Caledona, Canoe Creek, Coderus, Kowans Gap, Delaware Canal, French Creek, Gifford Pinchot, Greenwood Furnace, Hills Creek, Keystone, Kinzu Bridge, Lay Gorge, Moraine, Nescopec, Parker Dam, Pine Grove, Prince Gallatin, Pine Matuming, Raccoon Creek, Shawnee, Sydney Mahoning State Parks, and Jacobsburg, Kings Gap, and Nold Forest Environmental Education Centers. Pennsylvania State Park staff and volunteers lead the hikes, which are usually about one or two miles, but can be longer depending on the park and its terrain. And they begin at 10.30 on December 31st. Wait. Go back a step. Presque Isle State Park and Jennings Environmental Education Center are offering New Year's Eve or last night hikes for those who wish to ring in the New Year mid-hike. These easy hikes, spanning one to three miles, begin at 10.30 p.m. on December 31st and conclude around 12.30 a.m. on January 1st. That is all for now, and now we'll take a quick break to hear some words from these great sponsors. NC TV 45 Newcastle, the train. Today's program was provided through funding from Coney Island, Coney Island downtown in downtown Newcastle, a Newcastle tradition. Hello and welcome to NCTV 45 News Watch. I'm Nadine Buckley here to tell you that the state police announced their Christmas holiday enforcement results. The Pennsylvania State Police Troopers throughout the state of Pennsylvania arrested 330 people for driving under the influence during the four-day Christmas holiday from December 22nd through the 25th. The total represents an increase from the 243 DUI arrests made during the 2017 Christmas holiday driving period, which spanned three days. State Police investigated 622 crashes over the long holiday weekend including 54 collisions involving alcohol. Six people were killed in five fatal crashes investigated by the PSP. In addition to DUI enforcement, troopers issued 2,460 speeding citations, 289 seatbelt citations, and 58 child safety seat citations. 
Crash and enforcement data by troops are available online, and these statistics only cover incidents investigated by state police and do not include statistics on incidents to which other law enforcement agencies in Pennsylvania responded. With New Year's Eve celebrations still to come, drivers are reminded to plan ahead for a safe ride home. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's Safer Ride app is free to download on Apple and Android devices. Once installed, the app provides a simple interface to call a taxi or a trusted friend for a ride if you have had too much to drink. And there is always the trusty Uber. So now, how we will take a quick break to hear from these great sponsors. program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner. Well, NCAA college football and these bowl games winding down as we get to the first of the year and the la I guess the last of 2018. Today's games features the Stanford Cardinal against the Pitt Panthers and Cincinnati will be taking on Georgia Tech. Michigan will be up against Oregon, Missouri at Oklahoma State, Northwestern at Utah, and NC State at Texas A&M. Tulane has already played, and Utah State also. Now, over in the NBA, again, last scheduled date of the year, and... Uh, it's the Celtics at the Spurs. Special game in my family as my son's a Spurs fan. Dad Celtics should take care of business. Hawks at the Pacers. Magic at the Hornets. Grizzlies at the Rockets. Timberwolves at Pelicans. Mavericks at Thunder. And Warriors, why, they're at the Suns. Over in the NHL. And... Um, Light schedule yesterday for them as the Golden Knights won. Today, your Pittsburgh Penguins will be taking on the Wild. The Predators will be at the Caps, Canucks at the Devils, Islanders at the Sabres. It will be the Flyers taking on the Hurricanes, Senators at the Blue Jackets, Rangers at the Blues, and the Panthers will take on the Red Wings. Now, um, Steelers' season comes to an end. Fighting Irish get beat by Clemson, and Alabama takes Oklahoma, so it's Alabama and Clemson for the title. That'll be next weekend. And uh, if you get a chance, get on over to Cedars, have some great food. Enjoy the games, and we're going to take this time out. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome once again to Lawrence County 45 weather. Well, after last night's partly cloudy low of 30, how's your day looking on this last day of, yeah, 2018? Well, as you look at local radar off to the south and west, precept, and that is in the form of rain. And when you look at the national map, you can see it wrapping around and heading towards our area. So, um, how's your last day of 2018 looking? 100% chance of rain, high of 52, and it will be a wet one. If you're going out tonight, be careful. Showers, breezy. Chance of precip 90% and um, an overnight low of 40 degrees. New Year's Day, cloudy, a high of 41. Now, uh, the chance of precip turns off, so it's going to be kind of dry. And uh, we'll be drying out from what we had. Now, as you turn to Tuesday evening, cloudy, low of 27. Be careful if there is some wet spots. You don't go slip sliding away. And Wednesday, mostly cloudy, a high of 34. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy and 27. Thursday, partly sunny, high of 38. Thursday night, partly cloudy, a low of 30. Friday, partly sunny, high of 43. 30% chance of rain, but you'll probably stay kind of dry. Friday night, mostly cloudy, a low of 31. As you get into the first weekend of the year, Saturday, partly sunny and 42. Saturday night, partly cloudy, a low of 32. And Sunday, partly sunny with a high of 41. Now that was Lawrence County 45 weather, and we're going to take this break. We'll be right back after Standing some by my window. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Funding for this program furnished by Mary's Turner's Day Spa. Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township, Newcastle. There's more than meets the eye. You gotta give them a Newcastle a try. The Pokeberry Exchange at 41 North of Mercer Street has gifts galore that'll make you want to explore. Lamps, homemade lamps of every shape and color that will excite any room in your house. Wind chimes hang from the door to give that sweet sound. Sweet soaps and teas, embroidered towels, and much more. It's the Pokeberry Exchange. It's yours to explore. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Well, that's going to do it for this Monday. So uh, make sure you tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And by all means, make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody. See you at noon. Don't stand in the morning